just on fighting today. I think we... I heard something. What? A sea monster? Come on, I thought it'd be stupid. It wasn't a sea monster. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Incredible. It's just a boat. Just a boat? Portia, can you really be my brother's daughter? This is Leviathan, a ship designed by the great engineer Klaxus. It's stopping here for supplies on its way to Galilee. Its catapults alone will wipe out legions of those annoying rebels. Solly, there's such a thing as too much studying, you know. Not if I want to be the world's greatest engineer someday. I'm sure you will. But even great engineers take breaks every now and then. How about some music? Father, please. Let me finish what I'm doing. Don't look down on this, Solly. Remember the story of David and King Saul? King Saul was a deeply moody man. Sometimes. He would lie for days in a black mood. No one could get him out of it. Music will help you, Your Majesty. Let's find a harpist. He can soothe you with his music. Find such a man and bring him here. I know someone. He's the son of Jesse, a farmer in Bethlehem. music made King Saul feel better. And whenever his bad mood struck, David played the harp until the king was his old self. Saul grew to like David a lot, and he even made him his armor bearer. Well? Nice story, Father. Thanks. I gotta get back to my studying now. at a bad time, am I? What gave you that idea? Good, because there's this boat. <laughs> I mean ship. You've got to see. It's coming in tomorrow. It's the biggest boat uh, ship ever built. Yeah? Think your uncle will let us take it for a spin around the harbor? Mackie, be serious. It's for war. They're going to use it against the rebels in Galilee. But our father's in Galilee. I know, I know. <coughs> Don't cry, Leah. Daniel will be all right. We'll figure out something. Won't we? Uh, sure, sure. I wish you hadn't told them. Is there any way to get a message to the rebels? None that would be faster than that ship. Then we have to make sure it never gets to Galilee. Are you crazy? That would take a whole army. Or one really bright kid. Sully, please. We'll only be gone a little while. I just want you to see something. 
Mackie, I'm trying to study here. You like boats, right? This is the biggest one ever built. Why didn't you just say so? I'll tell my father and mother I'm going with you. Uh, uh, they might not think this is such a good idea. Let's go this way. Ugh. Are you sure this is okay? Absolutely. Well, what do you think? It... it's fantastic. Fantastic? Uh, but not in a good way. How do we sink it? Sink it? A ship this size? It's impossible. Then Daniel and the Rebels, the, they're all gonna die. Look, Mackie, if Klaxus built the ship, it can't be sunk. He's a genius. Well, you're a genius too. And you know how much the lives of those Rebels mean. So think. I have. But look at it. Look how low it sits. Look at those thick masts. The smooth hull. The sharp bow. I see you've been studying my work. Klaxus, I've studied everything you've ever designed. I'm so happy to meet you. It's nice to see young people taking such an interest. No need to trouble yourself with these children, Master Klaxus. Uh, Governor Tiberius has a feast waiting for me. Uh, you, you. You get anything useful? Forget it, Mackie. You can't beat something that big. That's just what they told David. Again with the David stories? Listen, genius. Even you might learn something. The Israelites were at war with the Philistines, who had a soldier named Goliath. Here and now, I challenge your entire army. Come on, choose your best soldier to fight me. If he kills me, you can take my people as slaves. If I kill him, well, We'll take your people as our slaves. Goliath was over six cubits tall, twice as tall as David. He had a bronze helmet, bronze armor and leggings, and a bronze sword. David was bringing food for his brothers in the Israelite camp. Army of Israel, are you listening? The king is offering a big reward to the man who kills Goliath. And I hear that he will even get to marry the king's own daughter. But you're nothing but a boy. I tell you, your majesty, that no Philistine should frighten us. I'll go out and fight him myself. Goliath's been a soldier all his life. Well, <laughs> all right, if you must, go ahead and fight him.
Sully. No matter how big your enemy is, you can beat him. That's easy enough to say, Mackie. But... What was that? It was one of the catapults on the ship. They've been practicing all day. Getting ready for the rebels. Hmm, I have an idea. When this arm hits the cross piece, it sends the rock into the air. And straight at the rebels. Right. But what if the cross piece didn't stop the arm? Huh? Wham! The boulder goes right into the deck and then through the bottom of the hull. Glug, glug, glug. All you've got to do is loosen the cross piece here and here. I mean, the real one. Yeah, but how do I even get close to that thing? Hey, Mackie, even a genius can't think of everything. Hmm. you can do this we're counting on you entertaining you. <laughs> you know, it's customary to throw coins. Send us a real musician and we will. <laughs> Songs elsewhere. Huh? A thieves! Pirates! Get him! Get him! Stop! Thieves! Get them! Get them! Gotcha! Put them below deck. Lock them up. Or pirates! It's a mistake! Why do I have this feeling we're going down with the ship? Mackie... There's always hope. Remember what happened after King Herod killed James, the brother of John? Many others were captured and never seen again. Still others, fearful for their lives, hid in their homes. But Peter refused to hide, so Herod sent his soldiers after him. They threw Peter into prison. His friends were certain that this was going to be the end for him. Herod ordered four squads of soldiers to guard Peter night and day. He planned to kill Peter just like he killed James. That night, Peter was fast asleep. Suddenly, a light flashed in his cell. Get up. Put your sandals on. Get dressed and follow me. Peter did as he was told, but he was convinced it was all a dream. Before Peter knew it, 
he was free. He came to realize he had not been dreaming. Peter hurried to the home of Mary, the mother of John. His friends were inside praying for him. When the servant girl saw Peter, she was too excited to open the door. She ran to tell the others. Naturally, they didn't believe her. His friends still couldn't believe he had escaped, but they were delighted to see their brave leader, safe and sound. It didn't take long for Peter to start speaking again. Well, all I can say is, our stranger better show up pretty soon. Solly, your mother made some cereal and... Uh, Solly? They'll be practicing with the catapult again soon. We could warn them. They'd kill us. And if we don't warn them, we drown. <laughs> some choice. Maybe the trap won't work. Are you kidding? Solly designed it. Looks like you were right about Solly. If it's any comfort. Abandon ship! Everyone off! To the life rafts! Come on, man! Burn it! What are you doing out here? I've been looking all over for you. It's a long story. Very long. Wait a minute. You? That ship? Mackie? You're working with the rebels. Well... Don't you realize how much trouble you can get into? How many times have your mother and I told you? Wait! It's... It's a little more complicated than that. If your mother ever finds out about this, I'm cooked. Understand? I'll go get them. You would just get lost. I know ships, remember? You stay with the rowboat and keep it safe. Keep bailing! Keep bailing, everyone! We have to save the ship! My greatest achievement! No, it's not. Not even close. What are you doing here? I came for my friends. You built aqueducts that brought water to thirsty people. You built homes for families who had nowhere to live. And, and, and you built bridges to bring people closer together. This big old thing, all it does is kill. Exactly a stranger, but I'm not complaining. Solly, you'll never make it. Save yourself. Hey, come with me. But, but my friends. No. So much for your stranger. Son, never give up hope. I can't just leave my friends. 
We're not going to. Take this below. Can you fit through that portal? I... I think so. Then tie this to the anchor chain. this to the cell door. sort of thing. Maybe he's our stranger. Shall we? <laughs> this is your son? He's very bright. In fact, I have a feeling he helped sink my ship. But he's just a kid. He didn't... It's all right. I'm not going to say anything. You're not? And have everyone find out that I designed a ship that a little boy could sink? No, 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 no. I'm not going to say anything. But from now on, I think I'll keep to what I do best. Houses, bridges, aqueducts. You... you mad at me? A little. But I got bigger things to worry about. Like, what am I gonna tell your mother? प्रेज लो और नमस्कार मैं हूं आरजे गौरव और आपको प्रेरित करना चाहूंगा प्लीज डाउनलोड कीजिए विजनरी रेडियो का नया एप्लीकेशन जिसमें आप बहुत सारे प्रोग्राम सुन सकते हैं चौबीस घंटे और सातों दिन आप रेडियो को सुन सकते हैं लाइव प्रोग्राम सुन सकते हैं साथ ही साथ में एक इंटरेस्टिंग चीज है वो है हिंदी बाइबल के दो दो अध्याय आपको दिन में तीन बार सुनने को मिलेंगे और वो भी ऐसा ऑडियोबल बाइबल जिसे सुनकर आपको सच में बाइबल बहुत आयत से समझ में आने वाली है साथ में खूबसूरत गीत सुनेंगे और लाइव प्रोग्राम्स आप सुन सकते हैं मैं आपके साथ रेडियो पर मंडे टू फ्राइडे मॉर्निंग नाइन टू टेन आपके साथ आरजे गौरव यानी मैं रहता हूँ साथ ही साथ में इवनिंग शो में भी आपके साथ रहते हैं और भी बहुत सारे प्रोग्राम्स जैसे टेस्टमनीज बाइबल सरमन बाइबल स्टोरीज और भी बहुत 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 अलग अलग तरीके के प्रोग्राम्स आपको रेडियो पर सुनने को मिलेंगे तो प्लीज डाउनलोड कीजिए विजनरी रेडियो